Thomas had the heart of a Spartan and the drive of an Iron Man, an absolute beast, simply unstoppable. For me, every tackle he made should be on the highlight reel. He was more machine than man, more man than most. Let's relive the glory of his victories and the greatest moments of his career. Debut Game I would love to kick off the smashing series of hits with one of his favorite moments in Ravens history. Back on September 1st, 1996, when he played his first regular season game against the Oakland Raiders at Memorial Stadium. Amazingly, this happened to be the first game in Raven history as well. What an epic duo. In fact, the league has not been the same since he retired. While recalling his debut game in an interview with the team's website in 2015, he said, When you see the crowd, when you see what started to happen, there was motivation. There was a movement that started to happen. Lewis said, And I'm telling you, to be a part of something new, I think it's probably one of the greatest rewards of my career. Game Saver in San Diego This play by Lewis is every young linebacker's dream play. One of the most iconic defensive plays you can possibly make. With the game on the line, he took the ultimate risk. Because rarely do linebackers get the opportunity to make a play that overturns the game. But Lewis grabbed the opportunity and made the most out of it in the 2009 matchup with the San Diego Chargers. He left absolutely no doubt and no hesitation. Well, built supreme confidence in his instincts and in his abilities. On a fourth and two play with only 36 seconds left in the fourth quarter, Lewis's anticipation, vision, and technique all got together. He exploded into the backfield untouched to take down Chargers running back Darren. One kneel down and bang, Ravens had escaped with a 31-26 win. This play had me literally out of my seat. Imagine what it would feel like to watch it live. I would just lose my voice screaming, would scare the crowd, and become a child all over again. Lewis called that play one of the greatest of his career. We couldn't agree more, Lewis. Dustin Keller down. The master of disaster taught the true meaning of hard knock to New York Jets, just fresh off their training camp on HBO's Hard Knock. This was in 2010, when Lewis laid out Jets tight end beast Dustin Keller on a violent but completely deserving hit during the season opener. Baltimore was clinging to a one-point lead when it came in under a minute. The Ravens ended up winning the game 10-9. Lewis didn't stop there, he lifted his spirits, truly. The scariest part is when Lewis landed on that hit, it felt like he was playing Dustin like a guitar. Super Bowl 35 MVP Talking about a time when the GOAT was young, I mean very young. The times when Lewis brought the Ravens to the Super Bowl by pure defense, rather than offense. They capped off a historic year in 2000-2001 with one of the Super Bowl's most dominant defensive performances. Ray just nailed it. In 16 regular season games, Baltimore was standing at just 165 points and 970 yards. Quite alarming though. All thanks to the massive hits of Ray, in Super Bowl 35, the Giants managed to get just 152 yards and 7 points in a 34-7 Ravens win. For his efforts to blow the Giants out in Super Bowls with five tackles and four passes defended, Lewis was called Super Bowl MVP. The point to be noted is, only eight times in the history of the Super Bowl has a defensive player been named the game's MVP. The Titanic Collision Ray Lewis is the kind of player who can turn any video into a motivational film. Following the 2008 season, the Ravens beat the Tennessee Titans by 13-10 in the divisional round of the playoffs. Amar Hall of the Titans picked up 10 yards and a first down on his reception, but paid a hefty price from a charging Lewis. As soon as Hall crossed the first down line, the 245-pound fullback gets smacked by Lewis with his helmet flying out of bounds. CBS play-by-play -play man Greg Gumbel called it a titanic collision. And announcer Dan Deardorff quickly added during the replay, what a shot. The Titanic collision is the craziest hit I've seen in my entire life. The football went this way and Hall's helmet went that way. A hit of all hits, pure technique. Ray didn't hold on to the ball, but he didn't lose the ball either. The Titans thought it would be a penalty. Well, it was completely clean and savage. 
big hit to Chad. It would be quite surprising, but NFL used to call penalties on big hits before the league mandated rules came into play. On this hit on Cincinnati Bengals receiver Chad Ochocinco, we definitely see that coming. It was from the 2009 season with the Bengals driving late. Lewis lowers the boom on 188 pounds and his helmet flew off. Lewis received a 15-yard penalty. In today's NFL climate, the field would have been littered with yellow penalty flags and the hit would probably draw a $250,000 fine. Chad Ochocinco, now called Chad Johnson, said it was a little too vicious for him. Ray went off as if nothing happened. Chad rushed Ray when he wasn't even looking. Sealing a playoff win. In this massive hit, we got to see two elite human specimens in their prime in the 2000 playoffs. I'm sure Lewis would identify this hit as one of his top career highlights. Clinging to a seven point lead with the Titans driving, Lewis latched onto the fourth quarter interception that was bobbled by running back Eddie George. Lewis spun off the hit and returned the pick 50 yards for a game settling touchdown. Three weeks later from now, the Ravens were playing for the Super Bowl. What's more incredible about this moment is Lewis's propensity for storytelling. That was the greatest ever rivalry between two players. Eddie was a powerhouse, but Ray tortured him the majority of the time. I mean, you can just hear that hit delivered. Crushing Block This is one of my favorite moments of Lewis's career, in which he's springing Chris McAllister's TD return with a crushing block and spinning the opponent like a helicopter. Lewis recorded 18 tackles and made an interception, but his shining moment was this hit on a return for the missed field goal. When McAllister fielded the kick deep in the end zone, Lewis put 235 pound linebacker Keith Burns on his back at the five yard line with his vicious and crushing block. McAllister went untouched the rest of the way for the 107 yard touchdown. While adding light, Lewis said, Chris always asked me to play on the punt return. He said, you throw the lead block. I said, if I get the chance, I'll start it off for him. And I did. Lewis broke Mendenhall's shoulder. Ray Lewis is the legend and the reason why NFL rules have changed. I'm talking about those times when hard hits were a good thing. If you hit someone in the head at that time and he's down, the crowd will clap and everyone will high five you for the hard hit. This historical hit was spurred by Mendenhall when he angered the Ravens by texting Ray Rice that he was going to have a big game against his AFC North rival. Lewis ended Mendenhall's game, as well as his season, when he went crazy on the field and hit the rookie running back so hard that he fractured Mendenhall's shoulder. Lewis said, The force was incredible. After the play, I wasn't screaming, he's hurt. I was screaming, he's done. Hit on Jerome Bettis. I'm sure you wouldn't have seen anyone hitting Jerome Bettis this hard. This hit compelled Bettis to intentionally miss the games against the Ravens hereafter. Probably he didn't want any smoke with Ray Lewis. Basically, the bus was shifting his body weight towards the outside, so Lewis had a good angle on him catching Bettis with a nice square hit. Bettis left his feet though. That doesn't imply that Ray can't hit him square, but Bettis was off balance when he left his feet. Well, that play clearly would have been a penalty in today's NFL world. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Just give a thumbs up to this video and share your favorite hits of Ray Lewis in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. Till next time, goodbye.